Hey, this is Amy from Amy Lou's Artistry. I wanted to bring you a little different of a makeup tutorial. I usually just do a video um, just showing you the steps, um, but I thought I'd go into a teeny bit more detail um, with this makeup look. So I am getting ready to do Mary Sanderson, which is one of the Hocus Pocus witches. Um, I had the opportunity to be her on a train tonight here in Hebrew City. So it was a lot of fun last night. I wasn't super excited how my makeup turned out last night, so I'm gonna try a little bit um, different technique, see how it goes, but you get to watch it here first. <laughs> so I thought I'd tell you a couple just different things that I normally don't tell you. Tip one, when you're having to do makeup, do a button down shirt that can easily be taken off if you're going to change into your costume. That way you don't have to worry about smearing your makeup and redoing it or whatever. Um, especially if you're doing your hair along with it. I have mine ready to go back into my wig, wig cap and put my wig up. Um, so I also started with a clean, moisturized face. Okay, it's super important. Um, let the moisturizer take some time, sink into your face, that kind of thing. Um, I am going to take, however, some moisturizer off. Oh, don't inhale. <laughs> this is just an alcohol wipe. Um, I am going to take some off there, and I'm going to take some off here, and you'll find out why in a little bit. Okay, I'm going to let that dry. Um, first, I'm going to start with some liquid latex. I thought tonight I would try to make my own work with the liquid latex, but I do have to put that on first and kind of slowly um, build it up as I kind of do my makeup. So that will be a little bit tricky. Hopefully I remember to do it as I go. <laughs> Okay, so I think I showed you. This is the liquid latex. I'm just going to take the brush um, and then I'm going to be doing this right here. And Mary has a nice little wart right here. Okay, so that's going to be my first little layer. And then I'm hoping it won't drag down too much. Um, but then I will be layering it on top so I can build that up. And as it dries, I am going to start with a setting spray and I'm just going to be really careful because I just had to put this on. So I'm going to block this half of my face and spray this on. Okay, I do like, I should have got my sponge for this, it would be easier. Okay, I'm going to go in and try not to wiggle my camera so much. Um, so tonight I'm going to start first with my foundation or highlight, however you want to say it. I'm using um, Mascara Beauty's Cream 3D foundation for this. I love, love, love it because, well, I'm over 40 and I needed to switch to creams. Um, it just works so much better with my skin that's a little more drier now. Um, plus, I live in Utah, so it's, it's always dry. <laughs> so that always helps as well, right? Um, I am basically just going to do a full coverage. I don't always do a full coverage with this 3D foundation um, because I don't need to for everyday life. Although I just want an overall coverage and... Ooh, did I get you? <laughs> a little bit. Okay. I'm trying to avoid this area here. Um, and you'll find out when I do the lips. Is also a um, tip if you're going to use like a cream um, lipstick, regular lipstick, um, even a lip liner. If you put foundation on your lips first, it helps it stay and it helps it not um, bleed. So that's a little bit of a tip. I'm actually going to be doing a stain so it will stay on as we run around the train. And um, so that is going to require me to uh, have some clean lips. I also exfoliated my lips tonight, so I'm helping that out. Okay, I'm gonna move on to my contour. Contour is gonna be most important, really with most Halloween looks, especially if they're spooky and creepy. Um, so, <laughs> and you're gonna wanna leave it dark. So, I think I blended my contour out a little too much last night. So, I'm just gonna do my best to just let it So I'm just going right up under my cheekbone here. Okay. Like I said, I'm trying really hard. <laughs> don't blend, Amy, don't blend. Okay, I also did up here a little bit. Um, the thing I like about 
Me and Mary is, I have a round face and she has a round face and we're gonna keep it round. <laughs> Um, she does have some accentuated cheeks, so I am going to do a little contour trick with that. So I'm going to smile here, and I'm going to bring, I'm trying not to uh, get my latex, I just did apply a little bit more on them. So I'm just giving them a little bit of shadow. up to my eyebrows. There's your contour. I'm gonna add a teeny bit in here. Luckily both Mary and I have pimples. Okay, I'm moving on to my eyebrows. Um, I'm using a cream eyeliner. Um, and then I'm just gonna kinda click. <laughs> I'm gonna bring my eyebrows down a bit. And maybe accentuate the darkness or deepness here. Um, it's something a little different than what I did last night. And I'm using like a really thin Lines, it's gonna look a little bit more natural. Not that it has to at Halloween time, <laughs> depending on what you're going for, right? But it just helps. But this is the same technique you could use every day as well. because of the non-symmetrical right of my face. So it's all good. Let me check my little board how I'm building up here. Add some more. Let's see, I'm looking in my mirror so I'm a little closer. And let's come in with the lightness before I head to cheeks and lips. So I'm just going in a little brighter. I'm 
to see how that made a bigger difference on my nose. I'm also gonna, like we said, we're gonna bring out the chin with that highlight. Try this waterproof. Um, this is the Smolder from Soap and Glory, and the nice thing about it is it doesn't have to be <laughs> doesn't have to be perfect because we're just gonna smolder it. Let's try. Okay, and I'm not gonna go. Um, I don't want to go too far into my corner. Um, Mary has these like great big gorgeous eyes. And so I want the illusion. Anyway, I want the illusion that my eyes are bigger. So I'm not going to connect it all the way. But I'm putting most of it like right in the middle. Our appearance of some rounder eyes. So I'm just going to take my brush and just smoother that underneath. Just going to even that out a bit. I just added another layer to my latex and that should be hopefully the last layer. I'm going to shadow it a bit and then hopefully it will be large enough. Uh, I'm gonna go to lips. So, where's my lip stain? <laughs> okay, just in case, I'm gonna go ahead. And the excess makeup off. Or is that Mary has the lip and she talks like this, right? She actually talks with her on the, up in front of her behind your teeth and she has that smirk. Well, in case I forgot to do the smirk or not wanting to think about it the whole time or while I'm singing, make it look like it's still there, I brought the line down much further and it worked quite well. <laughs> and I was quite happy with it. So we can only hope that it will work just as well as I do it tonight. <laughs> nice tip or note, whatever you want to do, I would say to so. <laughs> Brush your teeth and eat before you apply your lipstick. Um, so it has enough time, especially for using stain, so it has enough time to dry. So, that's my tip. Okay, I am just gonna draw a little contour line. So, I have an outline of where I'm gonna put my lips. stain. actually provide a shadow as well and make it look even deeper. Okay. This is Stiff Upper Lip um, Lip Stain from Unique. I like their lip stain the best. It doesn't feel super dry on my lips. Everyone is different with lip stain, so you really you kind of have to try it all out yourself. Um, 
and I just, I just really like this brand. So this is Saucy. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to draw that outline first. And the best thing about stain <laughs> is you can come in here. And you don't have as much wear off. And I'm going to have you open. <laughs> so it'll dry. dramatic as uh, that dries but it's enough to draw down draw down that way okay while this is drying I added one little tiny dot on top so hopefully that will complete the uh height that we need for the work okay, another thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to use my illuminator just to highlight these cheekbones a bit Same thing on my chin. Okay. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Here's the tip of my nose. And oops, we'll just give that appearance that is a little bit long and pointy. On to the wart. Just stay up close so you can see it a little better. Um, I'm not totally dry up here, but I'm gonna try to do the shadowing. So I can get that done with, get my wig on, get my costume on, and then I can kind of finish the rest. I'm dipping back into that contour, that same contour I've been using, um, and I'm just using a smaller brush, and I'm just gonna dot underneath, around the edges here. Without trying to lift it up too much. I'm using the same brush. I'm going to dip into my same highlight foundation color. And I'm going to go start going on the edges here. I'll blend it up a little. And you just want to bring down that color into okay, the rest of your makeup. And in fact, I can get a little closer now and get all of this done since dry. It's going pretty solid, so <laughs> just gonna go for it. <laughs> this contour color is called Indigo. And I'm just going to go So, hey, I'm gonna go and get my wig on and costume on and uh, I'll show you some pictures. 